Hello everyone. My name is Trupti and today we are going to learn one of the important lesson from environmental studies part 1 and the name of the lesson is the earth and its living world. So let's get started. In your textbook one diagram is given. Look at the diagram carefully. In this diagram we can see that the earth is divided into different parts. They are lithosphere, hydrosphere, atmosphere and the biosphere. Land, water and air are the parts of our earth. Let's see the lithosphere. Lithosphere is a solid outer part of the earth. The word litho is defined as relating to stone or we can say that lithosphere means a soil. Hydrosphere Total amount of water on the earth is called hydrosphere. So oceans, rivers, streams, etc. All this includes in hydrosphere. It simply means that all the water on the earth's surface is called hydrosphere. Atmosphere Atmosphere means air in a place or air on earth. All the gases in the air includes in atmosphere. The part of the earth where life exists. The part where human beings, animals, birds, plants can live. It means the biosphere. These four parts, it means lithosphere, soil, hydrosphere means water, atmosphere means air and biosphere means living things. These all are called the spheres of the earth. So, in this lesson, we are going to elaborate these four spheres of the earth. Let's start with lithosphere. Lithosphere. When we travel, we notice that the land is not even in all places. There are different shapes of land in different places. For example, we can see that some land or some places are covered with grass. Or in some places, we found only sand. Some lands are covered with crops of forest. Some lands are covered with mountains. It means that there are different shapes of land in different different places. We can also see the various shapes of lands like mountains, hills, valleys, plains, plateaus, etc. All these different shapes of lands are called landforms. All these landforms are the part of earth lithosphere. Lithosphere yani zameen. About a third of the surface of the earth consists of land. A large continuous stretch of land is called a continent. These continuous lands on earth is divided into seven continents. They are Asia, Europe, Africa, North America, South America, Australia and Antarctica. Asia is the largest continent and Australia is the smallest continent. India is in the continent of Asia. It means we live in continent of Asia. So all these different different landforms like mountains, valleys, hills, plains, these seven continents, all these includes in lithosphere. Let's move further. Hydrosphere. Hydrosphere means Jalavaran. Prithvi ke prushtabhag par sarvatra fele huye pani ko Jalavaran yani hydrosphere kehte hai. We have already seen that the amount of water on the earth 
is called the hydrosphere. Now let's see. Two third of Earth's surface is covered with water. Now tell me, where do we get water from? Yes, you are right. We get water from well, rivers, dam, lakes, etc. So all these water bodies are the part of hydrosphere. Most of this water is in the ocean. And we know that the ocean water is salty. There are five oceans on the earth. They are Pacific Ocean, Atlantic Ocean, Arctic Ocean, Indian Ocean and Southern Ocean. Sea, Bay, Strait, Gulf, Creek. These water bodies are the part of ocean. Sea, yani Samandar, that you already know. Bay, yani Coast. Strait, Strait means a narrow piece of sea that join two larger seas. Gulf. Gulf means a part of sea that is surrounded by land. And creek. Creek means a narrow piece of water where the sea flows into the land. Jise hum khari bolte hai. So all these water bodies like sea, bay, strait, gulf, creek are the part of ocean. Now let's see further. The surface water and the ground water. Surface water, yani zameen par pravahit hone wala pani, yani zameen par behne wala pani. And ground water, yani bhujal, zameen ke andar sanchit hua pani. Let's see surface water. The streams of water that flowing over the land is called the surface water. It includes reels, brooks, rivers, lakes. Zameen ke upar behne wala pani means surface water. Reels, brooks, yani a small stream of river, chote nale, jharne, lakes, talab. All this includes in surface water. Ye sab zameen ke upar se pravahit hote hai. And ground water. The water that's stored in underground layers of rock, it called ground water. Zameen ki andar, chattano ki parto par, chattano ke madhya par, yani rocks ke madhya par, zameen ki andar, jo pani sanchit hota hai, use hum ground water kete hai. It includes wells, bore wells, etc. Let me tell you, the reels are smaller. And rivers are bigger. Reels, brooks, streams join each other to form a river. Ye chote nale, jharne, aapas mein milkar, nadi ka rup lete hai. And rivers which join to make a bigger river are called its tributaries. Or aise hi, do or anek nadiya milkar, ek badi nadi ban jati hai. Use उस नदी की उपनदी या ट्रिब्यूटरीज कहते हैं। For example, this is river Ganga. River Yamuna, Som, Gomti, all these are called tributaries of river Ganga. ये सब नदियाँ Yamuna, Som, Gomti, ये सब नदियाँ गंगा नदी की उपनदियाँ कहलाती हैं। In some places, a river Cascade down or falls down a sudden drop. These forms a waterfall. Or yehi nadia jab ucha ise niche girti hai, to waha waterfall banta hai. Now let's see further. Lakes. Lake yani jheel, talab. A lake is an area filled with water and surrounded by land. Jab bhi जमीन के कुछ भागों में पानी का प्राकृतिक रूप से यानी नेचुरली संचय होता है तो उसे लेक या तालाब कहते हैं मेनी लेक्स वेल्स बोरवेल्स गेट वाटर फ्रॉम अंडरग्राउंड स्प्रिंग्स 
तालाब झील कुए बोरवेल इन्हें जमीन के नीचे से यानी झरनों से पानी मिलता है नाउ लेट सी फर्दर वॉटर इन द फॉर्म ऑफ आइस वॉटर पार्टिकल इन द क्लाउड्स फ्रीज एंड इन कोल्ड रीजन दे कम डाउन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ स्नो वेन लेयर्स ऑफ स्नो पाइल अप ऑन ग्राउंड दे फॉर्म आइस वेन सच लेयर्स ऑफ आइस पाइल अप इन लो लाइंग एरिया दे बिकम यूज इन साइज दिस यूज मासिस इज कॉल्ड ग्लैशियस इन कोल्ड रीजन लाइक जम्मू कश्मीर और इन पोला रीजन पानी का बर्फ में रूपांतर होता है और इसी वजह से इन रीजन्स में बर्फ की बारिश होती है जब ये बर्फ एक जगह जमा होकर एक बड़ा आकार लेती है तो उसे ग्लेशियस कहते हैं ग्लेशियस यानी हिमनग देर आर ऑल्सो ह्यूज ब्लॉक्स ऑफ आइस फ्लोटिंग इन द सी दे आर कॉल्ड आइसबर्ग समुद्र पर तैरने वाले बड़े बड़े बर्फ के टुकड़ों को आइसबर्ग कहते हैं सो द वॉटर और आइस दट ऑक्यूपाइज द अर्थ सर्फेस ग्राउंड वॉटर वॉटर वेपर्स ऑल इंक्लूड इन अर्थ हाइड्रोस्पेयर नाउ लेट सी द अनदर स्पेयर ऑफ द अर्थ दैट इज एटमोस्फेयर एटमोस्फेयर मीन्स वातावरण एटमोस्फेयर मीन्स एयर ऑन द प्लैनेट एज वी गो हायर फ्रॉम द सर्फेस ऑफ द अर्थ द एयर इन द एटमोस्फेयर बिकम्स रेयर जैसे जैसे हम जमीन से ऊंचाई पर जाते हैं तो वैसे वातावरण की हवा कम होती जाती है इसीलिए आपने देखा होगा कि जो लोग ऊंचे ऊंचे पर्वत शिखरों पर चढ़ाई करते हैं वहां वे लोग अपने साथ ऑक्सीजन मास्क लेते हैं बिकॉज वहां के वातावरण में हवा कम होती है ऑक्सीजन कम होता है इन द एयर इट कंसिस्ट मेनी गैसेस लाइक नाइट्रोजन ऑक्सीजन वाटर वेपर कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड एक्सेट्रा देर आर अदर गैसेस टू दीज गैसेस आर इन वेरी स्मॉल क्वांटिटीज देर आर लेयर्स इन एटमोसफेयर नेम एज ट्रोपोस्फेयर स्ट्रेटसफेयर मेसस्फेयर आइनोस्फेयर एंड एक्सोस्फेयर द लेयर दट एक्सटेंड फ्रॉम द अर्थ सर्फेस टू अ हाइट ऑफ अबाउट टेन टू थर्टीन किलोमीटर इज कॉल्ड ट्रोपोस्फेयर पृथ्वी के पृष्ठभाग से लगभग तेरह किलोमीटर दूरी के बाद वातावरण की जो लेयर होती है उसे ट्रोपोस्फेयर कहते हैं एज वी गो हायर इन द ट्रोपोस्फेयर इट बिकम्स कूलर इन ट्रोपोस्फेयर द एयर इज वेरी रेयर ऑल द वेदर रिलेटेड फेनोमेना सच एज फॉर्मेशन ऑफ क्लाउड्स रेन फॉग विंड्स एंड स्ट्रोम्स टेक प्लेस इन द ट्रोपोस्फेयर फॉर्मेशन ऑफ क्लाउड्स रेन बादल फॉग विंड ये सभी क्रिया ट्रोपोस्फेयर में होती है बियॉन्ड द ट्रोपोस्फेयर अप टू द हाइट ऑफ अबाउट फिफ्टी किलोमीटर फ्रॉम द अर्थ इज द लेयर कॉल्ड स्टेटोस्फेयर ट्रोपोस्फेयर के ऊपर पचास किलोमीटर दूरी के बाद एटमोस्फेयर की दूसरी लेयर होती है जिसे कहते हैं स्टेटसफेयर इन स्टेटसफेयर देर इज अ लेयर ऑफ गैस इज कॉल्ड ओजोन अल्ट्रावायोलेट रेज दट इज यूवी रेज कमिंग फ्रॉम द सन आर हार्मफुल फॉर द लिविंग थिंग्स बट द ओजोन लेयर ऑब्जॉर्व दैट यूवी रेज एंड प्रोटेक्ट द लिविंग वर्ल्ड फ्रॉम दोज रेज स्ट्रेटसफेयर के निचले भाग में ओजोन लेयर पाई जाती है ओजोन लेयर पृथ्वी को सूर्य की हानिकारक अल्ट्रावायोलेट रेज से बचाने का कार्य करती है ओजोन लेयर के कारण ही धरती पर जीवन संभव है 
beyond the stratosphere up to the height about 95 km from the earth is the layer called mesosphere. There are other layers too like ionosphere and exosphere. So all these form of airs that is all these layers are called atmosphere. Now let's see the biosphere. There are innumerable countless kind of living things on the earth. Prithvi par asankhya prakar ke sajiv paaye jate hain. We see a great variety in the living things that lives in different region on the earth. Like polar bear, penguins found in cold region. Zebras found in Africa. Kangaroos are found in Australia. Elephant, lions are found in hot climates. Many kinds of plants, animals, microorganisms, also human beings are found everywhere on the earth. That is on land, in water, in the air. All these living world in lithosphere, hydrosphere, atmosphere, all are includes in biosphere. So this is what a biosphere. I hope you understand the difference between lithosphere, hydrosphere, atmosphere and biosphere. Now let's see the last topic. How does it rain? Look at the picture of water cycle. The sun rays hits up the surface of the earth. So the temperature of water rise up. So the water on the earth evaporates continuously. Water into the soil also evaporates due to the heat and it enters into the atmosphere. Surya ke tapman ke wajah se prithvi ka paani baashpa mein rupantar ho kar hawa mein mishrit ho jata hai. As water vapor is lighter than air, it rises high up into the atmosphere. It is called transpiration. As it goes higher, it cools and condense. Condensation means the process of vapor turning into water on cooling. Jaysay hi ye water vapors, yani bash, upar jate hai, to kuch samay baad wo thande ho kar paani ke chote kand mein rupantarit ho jate hai. So, this water vapor condense forming very fine droplets of water. The droplets are also so small and light that they float in atmosphere and forms cloud. These small small droplets join together and form a bigger drop which are heavy. They cannot float. Such drops of water falls down on the earth in the form of rain. Ye chote chote paani ke kan ekatrit ho kar paani ki boond ban jati hai. और ये बूंदे बारिश के रूप में जमीन पर गिरती है एंड वी नो दैट दिस रेन वाटर फ्लोज इन टू रील्स स्ट्रीम्स रिवर्स एंड फाइनली इन टू द सी सो दिस इज हाउ द रेन फॉल दिस प्रोसेस ऑफ इवापरेशन कंडेंसेशन एंड रेनफॉल गो ऑन इन अ कंटिन्यूस साइकिल दिस इज नोन एज वॉटर साइकिल इन नेचर and this was our lesson the earth and its living world in this lesson we have discussed four important spheres of the earth that are lithosphere hydrosphere atmosphere and biosphere i hope you understand this topic please do like comment and share and do subscribe to my channel to get more videos thank you